We are local. Las Vegas. Fox 5 News starts now. Tonight, the massive backups continue at the state line. Take a look at earlier today, RTC saying traffic was bumper to bumper for 12 miles. This is from around Gene to pass the California state line. And the roads are only expected to get busier as people flock to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve. Fox News Kim Passoff live along the 15 tonight with more on what we can all expect. Yeah, so the RTC says some of the busiest travel days of the holiday season are today, tomorrow, and the Monday after New Year's. Today, we spoke to some frustrated drivers who were stuck sitting in traffic in some of that backup. Traffic has been horrendous. Carnita Jones from Montana had quite the back and forth drive this holiday, nearly border to border on the 15th from Kalispell to San Diego, where she is a grad student. She says there's been a number of slowdowns along the way, the worst near the Utah-Nevada border. I drove about 50 miles and spent three hours in sleet, snow, freezing rain, trucks and cars off the road. While sitting in traffic isn't fun, she says it's better than canceled flights and being stuck in the airport. The fact that I was moving and I'm a little ADD, I'm really glad, I'm really glad that I got to, to be here and I'm almost home. We drove to Las Vegas to pick up my sister who came from Tulsa. She was supposed to be at our house on Christmas Eve but got canceled out on Southwest. Steve and Leanne Kirkstra drove up from Upland, California, but Steve's sister's luggage didn't make the same plane she did, meaning they had to continue to wait at the airport. We lost all of Christmas. Now they will celebrate Christmas on New Year's Day. She's and never been to a, a California rose parade. rose parade, so she's here now and that's what we're looking forward to. RTC says they aren't sure just how busy the roads will be over the coming days with so many travel plans still changing. We'll just kind of be watching at this point with weather, travel delays, things like that. Um, we're all kind of standing by and watching. Anyone staying in the valley can ride the bus for free on New Year's Eve starting at 6 p.m. through 9 a.m. on New Year's Day, something the RTC has been offering for more than a decade now to keep people who may be drinking to ring in the new year safe. This is just another great option, and we really, really encourage people to make that safe choice this new year. And if you do want to know about traffic before you hit the road, you can sign up on the RTC's website for traffic alerts. It will send you text notifications about backups and crashes along the I-15. Reporting near Sloan tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local. Las Vegas.